In this lesson, we'll take a look at the regular expression for a word boundary. What do we mean by a word boundary? We mean the place where a word either begins or where it ends. So here you can see the symbol for a word boundary is slash B. We'll get to it in just a second, but let's proceed one step at a time. Here I have the same sentence as I've had in the last couple lessons. I went to the store, etc. And if I were to just type in a single letter like T, we know that we would find all of the letter T's that are currently within this string. Here's the difference between this versus a word boundary. If I put my word boundary character right here, slash B, before my T, like so, it's only going to find the T's that start the beginning of a word. So that slash B means a word boundary. It's the boundary or the outer scope of a word, either the beginning or the end. So in this case, because I put slash B before T, what I'm saying is that T has to come at the beginning of a word boundary, i.e. the beginning of a word. So of course, the only T's that satisfy that condition is the T in two and the T in the. All right, let's see what happens when I flip these around. If I go back to T and then I put a word boundary at the end by writing slash B after T, that says go find the T's only at the end of a word. So right now there's two scenarios, T at the end of went, and that is followed again by a word boundary, the end of a word, the boundary of that word. And then the other T is at the end of bought. So as always, the capital letter represents the inverse or the opposite. So the capital B here represents a non-word boundary. So for example, if I do slash capital B T, that is going to find us the T's that do not start off a word, that are not at the beginning of a word. So now you can see the T in store is going to be included, but also the T in went and the T in bought. They are not at the beginning of their respective words, they are at the end. So as long as the first letter is not T, it's going to include all of those T's. If we flip it around, if we do T followed by slash capital B, you can see it's going to find the T's that do not belong at the end of a word boundary. So in other words, if a word had a T at the end of its word, it would not be included. But here, the T in two is at the beginning, the T in the is in the beginning, and the T in store is in the middle. All right, so a word boundary is just a delimiter. It's a point where the word begins or ends, and depending on where we put it, either in front of the thing we're looking for, like T, or after, it's going to look for it at the end of the word boundary or at the beginning. All right, slash B in front of T means look for a T at the beginning of a word. Slash B at the end of T means look for it at the end of the word. And of course, slash capital B means look for it in a non-word boundary. All right, kind of a complex idea or complex ideas that we covered here, but hopefully these examples have helped make sense. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson. So I will see you in the next one.